everybody. It's Mike Newman for Monday Morning Finish Line. Um, I don't know where this is going to be. Um, new site, um, ILXCTF.com, Illinois Cross Country Track and Field. Um, most of you know the story by now, so uh, let's talk about cross country. Um, hope all of you had a great summer. Uh, we get to the fall, um, but let's remember the one thing. It's August, okay? It is August. So, you go to a few meets and you have parents going, Oh, we're going to make it to state this year! Well, there are some teams that can say that already. Yeah, we're going to, you know, we're looking to state, we're looking at nationals. There are some teams that are, look, that have that perspective, that can look that way. But there's other teams, oh, I think we're going to do great, you know, it's great to have to be optimistic early in the year, but the name of the game in August is getting your workouts in, and all the way through October is staying healthy <laughs> because you got to stay healthy, um, otherwise, dreams are broken. So, we've seen teams at the beginning, you know, August and early September that are fantastic, and then a few injuries, and poof, that's it. So, it's going to be a fun season. Um, and try to get to some of the bigger meets. Uh, let's look back at the last week. Um, it's early in the year, so there weren't a ton of meets, but there were some things to look at, like, for example, this past weekend. Um, start at Normal West. Um, Dunlop Girls, and I said that in the preview, that you could have a 1A, 1B, and 1C, because Belvedere North, Dunlop, and Vernon Hills are very close. And we'll see that on September 9th. They race against each other for the first time at first to the finish. Um, but Dunlop looks good. Campbell Peterson, freshman, is their number one runner. They had a 46 second split on five and they beat Manuka. Manuka looks better than I thought they would. And that's no, no, no slam against them or anything like that. But they look pretty good. Uh, Emily Shelton, um, wins easily about 1735 and then they have a nice pack behind her um a 51 second split off of van eck and then eck was all state last year so that's a nice building ground to build off of dunlop same thing 46 second split have a nice two three four pack behind peterson see if that pack gets closer to peterson in a couple of weeks i know dunlop runs at uh, lake story at galesburg this weekend next weekend so um hard to say hard to say what they're going to do um, so that on the boys' side, Mason Jones of uh, Mount Zion wins the race 15:35, and not a bad time. Manuka missing a few guys. Um, Justin Fries is one of their top guys, wasn't there, um, but they still won pretty easily over a uh, Normal West. I don't know if Normal West ran all their all of their guys. They're ranked in 2A. And also watch for Manuka. They have this one kid. I can't remember his name. It's another Van Eck. Um, that uh, ran 1025 or 2 miles at Maxwell. That's pretty good. Freshman. So, maybe we see him up at Hinsdale. Maybe we see him up at first to the finish. I don't know. Aurora City Meet, where I was at, you saw some videos that are up on ILXCTF. Um, I mean, it's August. <laughs> uh, well, Bonzi Valley it looked better than I expected. Uh, Nice pack. They didn't run uh, Beatler, Beitler, Wes Beitler, a sophomore who will be with York, with Wes York, their top runner. Uh, but Wabansi won pretty easily. Marmion did not run their top six. Um, we'll see them debut next week at St. Charles East at Levy. Um, on the girls' side, really close between Rosary, Wabansi, and Matea Valley. Matea Valley, I don't think they ran their top runner, and if they would have put their two freshman runners up on varsity, Mateo wins. But it's August. That's, I mean, that's that's the scenario. Um, what else? First to the finish, uh, downstate, the kickoff meet at uh, SAU Edwardsville. Uh, Mascoutau has, uh, and there's the, this invite is mostly 1A schools, and Mascuta is uh, has over a thousand students, so bigger than. Uh, most of the other teams, but still they look good. Um, nice packing by both the boys and girls team. They sweep 
Um, on the girls' side, team-wise, um, Springfield Lutheran. They've been in and out. They didn't have a fourth. They didn't have a fifth runner last year, and they had a bunch of injuries. They look pretty good. Four in the first twenty-four. Beat some one-A uh, uh, ranked teams, including Freeburg. And Freeburg got second on the boys' side by Muscuta, but they didn't have Charlie Parrish, their number one runner. So um, we'll have to see. Uh, Father McGivney. They're a school out of Glen Carbon, Southern Illinois, close to Edwardsville. Hard to say what they have right now. They were fourth. They beat some ranked 1A teams, so who knows when we do rankings in a couple of weeks uh, where they're going to land. Um, they're split at, they won at New Athens at the beginning of the week, and uh, their split was 247 on five. It went down to 222. So as long as we see some progress, they have a good uh, freshman runner who's the number one runner, Ross, Ross Busher. Um, but then they have a big gap after that. So Busher. Um, if looking at the Illinois cross country speed rank ratings, check that out. His speed rating for a new Athens would equal to a 1516 at uh, Detwater. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, McHenry County, uh, they don't keep team scores. If they would have kept team scores, Huntley would have won both races. Um, but Jack Becker wins by nine seconds over um, Zach Albright. Um, Pretty good race there. Um, earlier in the week, I was at Downers Grove North. Downers Grove North, number one team in the state ranked, um, top five nationally, and they should be. And they, you kind of, you're watching the race, and you have, you forget that they're running a tempo run for the first two miles. And there are a bunch of people that are running there, and then the last mile, boop, they're gone. So Downers Grove looked good. 26 seconds split on five, and they didn't have Sam McCool. They didn't have Miles Christensen in their top five. And they would have been right in that pack. So figure a 30-second split on seven. They're going to be tough, tough, tough. They run next week at St. Charles East of Levy. So, oh, and uh, what else? there was a uh, meet Morris, uh, Morris Early Bird meet um, on Wednesday. A girls' race was good. Kane win 23 points. Um, nice pack. I, uh, they won pretty easily. Combard South, I think, had 80 points. Um but uh, Rachel Rickman, Battle of the Rachels, uh, Rachel Rickman won by about five, six seconds ahead of Rachel Hickey of LaSalle, Peru. 18-12, 18-18, early in the year, good times on that course. Didn't check what the speed ratings were and then the equivalent. But check uh, ILXCSpeedRatings.com, great site that Roland Hopkins has built up. And it's, it's going to make your cross-country viewing uh, a little more enjoyable if you are a stat nerd like me. So I think that's about it. We're going to go, we'll go into detail next week. Uh, this coming weekend is going to be busy. First weekend, about 80% of the schools are in, are, will be competing in invites. Um, you got Hinsdale, Hornet, Red Devil at Leggy. Um, you have Lyons Township. You have the uh, Michael Herrick Invitational there. Dylan Jacobs, Danny Kilbray, top two runners in the state, going on that Speedway that they call the Lions Township South Campus course. Uh, under 14? Maybe. That's a fast course. It's about 3.04. If you run the tangents, it's a little bit short. Um, but they've measured it at 3.04. Uh, where else? Uh, Granite City. Great meet there. You have Fenton. There's some good teams there. Um, we go on Granite City, Fenton. Galesburg. Normal has a meet. Uh, Sycamore this Tuesday, um, Lake County this Wednesday. So it's just wrapping up. We'll talk a little more. First ratings, uh, rankings uh, for teams come up not this week because we've hardly had any competition. Be foolish to update your rankings or anything like that. We'll do it next week and everybody is competed. We'll take a look at the numbers and we'll crunch them a little bit. And we'll see where we go from there. So did I say everybody? Did everybody have a good summer? Yeah, I did. Uh, it's going to be a long year. <laughs> but anyway, enjoy your week, everybody. Um, first weekends, stay safe, stay uninjured, eat right, get your sleep, study hard, and all that other fun stuff. So, Until the next time we talk, this is Mike Newman from Monday Morning Finish Line. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.